can God make rivers to flow once again in the deserts that shall bring truth to a nation? Can God cause from the desert place things begin to blossom as truth springs forth from the desert? For the forces of darkness are afraid because what was done in the desert concerning your election things will begin to heat up the enemy is afraid the people who know what they've done are sweating but can rivers flow that can cause other states to say we shall do the same I have declared in my word that you have a belt of truth God says look at my fist I shall use a play on words I am about to belt with truth with the wind in my fists that shall strike and this shall not be the only strike that I shall bring for hell has been afraid for my hand to move and I have been doing things behind the scenes but now I will show my hand and I will when I show my hand I will build them with my truth and the lies, the corruption, the fraud shall go to a whole nother level of exposure. And my hand shall strike, 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 strike upon this nation. And the enemies of darkness shall run. those who did not want to touch what I will strike shall be found out in this day the same hand that strikes is the same hands that shall bring reset and bring reversals as great removals will begin to take place. Come on, I want you just to do this. When the prophet came to the king, in 2 Kings 13, he told him, he said, open the window. God says there is a window that is open over this house, over this nation. And God says, as your voice is lifted, as your hands are raised, do not hold back. As the prophet put his hands upon the king's hands, God says, listen, my hand is upon this nation. Strike with me, says the Spirit of God. Come on, some of you just need to go like this. Strike, strike, Lord. Strike! Let your truth reign. Let your righteousness, your justice, let it reign across this nation, across the earth. Strike! 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 Let the host gather with our hands and the hand of the Lord. God, the enemy must loose now. His 
his home. The demonic veil is ripping across the nation. The lies of the airwaves shall be squelched. I sense, says the Spirit of God, the lies of the airwaves shall be squelched. Oh God, strike Give us this Fourth of July, I pray, a true independence, God. This is our prayer. How many of you will pray? This 4th of July, that there will be an independence, that we will see the Lord's hand. Come on, somebody begin to pray it out. God, we are asking you to restore and to honor our independence. The land of the free, the home of the brave. We cry out for justice. We pray for righteousness. Pray for truth and liberty to raise and to shine, oh God. Give us our nation back, Lord. We the people, we have called upon thy name. We have humbled ourselves. We have turned from our wicked ways and we have sought you. Now, God, I pray as your prophet, only heal our land, but give us the liberty that we deserve, and our children. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Watch for the lightning strike that shall bring fire. Strange fire. And the wind that will blow. that will topple a statue I will show the earth that the enemy's agenda as Satan fell from heaven like lightning so shall his agenda as fire shall be the sign I stood in 
my presence as the Philistines put my glory, my presence next to the statue Dagon. It fell and his limbs were cut off. Look for the sign of the wind toppling that shall follow. What does a nation look like filled with glory? You're about to see it. When my glory comes and manifests, darkness cannot and will not rule. There shall be a monument in a new place where there shall be a righteous branch of government. A monument shall arise in the land that they will say, even in the high seat and office of the land, this monument is not given to any other name but the name of Yeshua. For He is Lord over the United States of America. You say that is crazy. God says you have not seen the future. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. And mega blessings are coming upon this land, says the Spirit of the living God. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Let it be done according to your word. We fear you, oh God. We humble ourselves before you and your majesty, oh God. We worship and honor you, oh God. Thou art God and there is none of us. Holy, holy, holy is thy name. They have touched something holy. Shall not God come as you've seen? I'll just worship him. Oh, we worship you. We adore you. Holy, 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 holy. Holy is the Lord. We fear thy name. We humble ourselves before you.
I want to pray for those in this room and those that are watching even in, cha in the chapel. The way it's described to me is, I'm just going to say, you feel like the weight of things are on your shoulders. You don't have to be embarrassed, but you're in a place right now that, man, things are just really weighing you down. And you just need a lift, man. You just need a divine lift. If that's you, I want you to raise your hand. If you would say, you know what, that's me. Okay, I want you to go that way. Line up in a single file line. I want you to go that way. Well, you know what, let's let everybody just go around this way. It just keeps it orderly. So just go out. You can go in the middle here. But just go ahead and line up. Let's go ahead and line them up. I want to pray for you if that's you. I don't know what's going on. Just have them come on down a little farther so we've got room to pray for them. We're not here to ask you what's going on in your life, but one thing I do know is the scripture says the anointing of God breaks yokes and undoes heavy burdens. And I've learned something in my life. One touch from God, man, can change everything. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Somebody just got back a, a report from the doctor. They were discussing numbers and different things from a blood draw. And it's weighed you down because, you know, sometimes when you hear stuff, it can affect you. And I'm here to tell you, God's going to do something in your body, even right now. Is that somebody that's here that you would say, you know what, Pastor, that's me. Pray for me. That's me. Is that somebody even in line here? That's, that's you. How about you that are standing in the line over there? Anybody over there? Chapel. There's, there's a hand there. Is that you? Can you come out? come down through the middle aisle I want you to stand right here sir I want to lay my hands on you first anybody else thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you God God bless you God bless you is that you too okay just have them kind of scoot down usher do we have ushers in place thank you Lord Pastor Brenda I want you and Matthew to lay hands on the people. I'm going to lay hands on this man right here. I need one usher. Let me do this here real quick. Let me just do this. Is this the man? Are, are you with them? Is that the same person too? Okay. Is that you also? All right. Is that you also? Okay. I want you three. All right. Now, here's the thing. You got to, and, and I wanted to say something. All right. Come quickly so that we know who you are. Okay. Let me teach you about something. So for some of you, this is new to you. When God speaks something, go quickly. Because the anointing of God sometimes is now. It moves now. Okay? If God speaks something, you do it you quickly. You move quickly. Because the anointing, that's how it works. That's how it moves. And if you weigh it down, or you, you can hinder it. Okay? And we want people to get touched. Are you ready? I'm supposed to start with you. Okay. In the name of Yeshua. Be healed. I curse every disease. Come out. Stay out. I loose upon you. Be thou made whole now. This changes for the good and for the glory of God. In the name of Yeshua, I release the anointing of the Spirit of the living God. Come out of her body. All symptoms. I speak life, long life, wholeness, yeah, a reversing of what they have said, and I say the goodness of God revealed in restoration of health. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. 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 I speak it now. In the name of my tata, nish, nibunda, ba, ke, receive, be healed. In the name of Yeshua, I break every assignment, even generational. I break 
generational infirmity. I break its power. I curse it at the roots. It will not come upon you, will not manifest in you. And I say, be thou made whole now. In the name of Yeshua, host, minister to these people, spirit of the living God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There's something with enzymes. I see God moving down into your liver area. I don't know what that means, if that means anything to you, but I just see something happening down in the midsection area. Thank you, Lord. Through your veins, thank you for that anointing. Complete restoration and wholeness. God, I pray that this year will be a different year than what you've been having to face because it has been like a reoccurring thing. And I say that the cycle of that thing ends. And I speak a new day over you. I pronounce new things, good things, blessed things, health and wholeness is part of your now and new season. Receive it in Jesus' name. All right, line them up. Pastor Brenda and Matt, go ahead and pray for them. I pray for you, those of you that are watching. I release that anointing into that camera. You receive it in your body, those of you that are in the chapel. Whatever the symptom, whatever the infirmity, whatever the weight is upon your shoulders, I release the anointing of God that breaks yokes and undoes heavy burdens. I command it to be lifted off of you. Any mind-binding spirit, any spirit of weariness, any demonic weight of witchcraft, I command it to come off of you. And I speak the fire of God to come and ignite you on the inside. His burden is light. His yoke is easy. I release that over you right now. Come on, you that are watching, you just, if you have to stretch your hands towards mine. No more weight on your shoulders. No anxiety. No fear. No worry. I command it to be lifted off. I speak a new day as I speak over these people. Every person that their hand, hands are being laid on, on them, the anointing is touching them. We speak that same anointing over you. We declare that you are set free. This is a new day now. Receive it. Come on, just begin to worship the Lord. Worship Him. Worship Him.
hands toward those in the chapel. Right now, chapel, we prophesy to you. I command every burden that has been upon your shoulders come off right now in the authority of Jesus' name. I speak health. I speak life. I speak wholeness. Come on, chapel. I say receive it in the name of Jesus right now. Come on, everybody, pray in the Holy Ghost for the chapel. As pastor goes down and lays hands upon those in the chapel, come on, let's just begin to lift our voice in other tongues. Those of you online, right now, I speak, I declare healing, deliverance, wholeness. I say every burden that's been upon your shoulders, it comes off of you right now in the authority of the name of Jesus. I say be released of that burden. Every sickness, every disease. In fact, I feel in this room, everybody lay hands on yourself. Lay hands on yourself. The Bible says a believer lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. So whatever it is that's going on with you, and you online, just lay hands on you and command deliverance. Right? The Bible says deliver yourself, O daughter of Zion. Sometimes you can't wait for somebody to pray for you. You just got to take it. Amen? So, Father, right now, as hands are laid upon these, as hands are laid on the people in the chapel and those online that have hands upon themselves, right now, in the name of Jesus, I speak an overhaul of deliverance upon you. Whatever the devil has tried, whatever ensnarement, whatever trap, whatever burden, disease, sickness, challenge right now in the name of Jesus, I say, be free. Be free in Jesus' name. Come on now, shout if you believe that. Hallelujah! Woo! Come on, shout like you believe it's true. Shout like you believe it's true. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I think we have some church this morning. And we're not even done yet. Amen. We'll turn.